What is up guys? This is Colton and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This is episode 1 of H1Z1, a new open world zombie survival apocalyptic multiplayer game that I'm super excited for. Now, as you all see through my channel, one of my favorite things to do is to watch a game from the beginning of development. So having an opportunity to start at pretty much the ground zero of gaming, of an individual game, is a really exciting thing for me. Oh, okay. I, I was trying to do a quick adjustment to the volume, but that is also how you would flip someone off, so there you go. So, as I said, I'm super excited for this series. This will probably be a weekly series, maybe more. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I'm, I'm really excited about this. I've been playing it pretty much since launch, and I really wanted to put a video out first thing, but I just got a new microphone, which is going to sound a lot clearer, and it's going to greatly improve my audio quality. So, if you have no idea what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just collecting a bunch of basic materials, including berries and sticks, and I have just realized that I'm a little bit of an idiot because I forgot to shred my clothes. What? What are you talking about, Colton? That's nonsense. Why would you shred your clothes? That's right. You do shred your clothes, and hold up. It's been like a few days since I've played, and obviously this is in uh, early development. Okay, cool. Uh, so, everything's uh, changing a lot, which is fine, but uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is shredding off my clothes. I'm just going to get naked because I need some cloth. So, if you are unfamiliar with the game, it's, um, as I said, it's open world, so there are lots of other players. Fortunately, the server isn't too crowded today, so I guess all the overall hype has gone away, but this is just a brand new server, and um, yeah, I'm super excited for it. So this right here is the discovery tab. So I'm just gonna put, if I put some cloth in the discovery, it gives me recipes to like play with. I, oh, I hear something. Yeah, it's a dude. All right. Hey, are we cool, man? Are we cool? Oh, it's not a dude at all, it's a zombie. I, I, I thought that was an NPC, but uh, I was mistaken, that is a zombie. So we have a zombie on our tail, which obviously isn't any good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to try to lose it because I don't have any weapons. I thought that was another player, that was silly of me. But yeah, I guess because there are less players, the zombies are more widely dispersed, which is interesting. But, okay, anyways, what I want to do right now is craft myself this satchel. It's going to allow me to carry a, more, a wider amount of things. So, as you can see, my belt can carry 100 items, whereas my satchel can carry 300. And, gosh, this damn zombie isn't going to leave me alone, which is fine. I'm going to craft a bow and arrow really quickly and show you how to take care of them. So, yes, with just the wood and cloth that I have... I can make myself a bow and arrow. Shit, god damn it. These zombies just won't leave me alone. And as you, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of my screen, you'll see that my uh, hydration and energy are both depleting. And that's because I'm spinning around and I'm collecting the berries for me to eat. But I'm going to need a better food source pretty soon. So as you can also see, I'm at the outskirts of a city, which is why there's so many freaking zombies. And I just want to make some basic supplies, but it's not going to let me. So I'm just going to run pretty far over here. And it's it's a nice, pleasant day out today, which what, on the other server I was playing, it wasn't... God damn it. Oh, it got me. Okay, so it's right on my tail. And I don't have, like, a branch or a bow and arrow or anything, and it's clearly not in the mood to let me craft it. So that's actively tracing me, which is pretty annoying, honestly. Like, I'm trying to get started, and it's just on my tail. Uh, is it still behind me? Yes, it is. God damn it. Okay, so 
I, I mean, I'm spinning around right now, which is really depleting my hydration and energy, which I am uh, not, not fond of at all. So I'm just going to run into the woods, and hopefully it's going to stop chasing me, because it's super annoying right now. And while I'm running, I might as well pick up some more sticks and berries. I'm picking up the sticks because I'm going to be able to craft them into arrows. And I am have the berries to eat. Oh my god, it's still following me. Uh, this is a super annoying, guys. Like, I can't do anything with it on my tail trying to rape me. But at the same time, running away isn't going to work forever. And I clearly can't lose it. So here's what I'm going to do. Really quickly, discovery. Uh, okay, this sucks. This sucks, guys. What can I tell you? I'm trying to craft some basic stuff. And Mr. Zombie here isn't in the mood. So you know what? You know what, Zombie? Let's have a fight. Let's do it. You wanna go? You wanna go? Okay, this probably isn't gonna end well for me. Oh, it's not a friend. Shit. Okay. Uh... Okay, I have three zombies on me. Yay! This is going great, guys! This is going fantastic! I just want to make a bow and arrow, but no. It's not gonna let me. And running into the city is probably going to achieve the opposite of what I want to encounter. But maybe there will be some players here that have my back. But then again, maybe not. So I am going to run and uh, hide in one of the buildings. Because they are right on my tail. And it's not prepared to let me do anything. So hopefully I can lose them here in the city. Probably I will attract more, but you know what? I'm I'm kind of out of options and definitely out of patience. So I'm gonna jump over this. Maybe they couldn't jump that fence. They use the door. All right, now I have the door. Cloth, sit, stubble. Okay, cool. I'm going to craft myself a makeshift bow, and while it's doing that, I'm going to discover wooden arrows, and now I can craft some arrows. So I'm really sorry about that. Luckily, this door is keeping them out. So now I'm basically just going to craft as many arrows as I possibly can. And uh, currently, uh, so do I only get one arrow now? Oh, that's bullshit. In the old patches, you got two arrows per stick, and now you only get one. That's pretty frustrating. I'm going to need a lot more sticks. But I will do a bunch of gathering off camera. But these zombies are right at the door. So now we can finally, finally fight them. So I've got a bow. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's about to find me, too. Oh, oh shit. Okay, well that didn't work at all. Okay, as you can see, I'm down to 77 health, which isn't great. But let's, let me take this dude. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Where are you at? Okay, so hitting a moving target is pretty hard. Oh, shit. I'm a terrible shot. That was just terrible. Alright, reloading. Ouch. I'm bleeding. Okay, that's okay. We've got some gauze. Alright, um, so, as you can see, this isn't going too great. I'm not able to get a clear shot off because it's right behind me. This dude is bloodthirsty. Absolutely freaking bloodthirsty. I don't think I've ever seen one trace like, trace me like this before. Alright, I just got him. Nice, headshot. Alright, so, first thing I'm gonna do is apply some gauze. I definitely need to do that. So I'm going to unpack my gauze and go ahead and use one, which is going to stop the bleeding. Okay, there we go. And it's going to start healing me. Now that was one tough zombie. I don't know about you guys, but I was, I was not prepared for that. So I'm going to make a cutscene right here, and I'm going to quickly gather as many berries 
and sticks as I possibly can. So, um, one berry restores uh, two of hydration and stamina. So basically, you just gotta eat up. At least, if it didn't get changed in the patch, it should give you two. I'm just making sure right now. Yes, it does. So, I'm gonna make a quick cut. I'm gonna gather a ton of berries and sticks, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Alright guys, I don't know what it is today, but these zombies are bloodthirsty. Like, crazy, ridiculously. They want the brain. They want the bee right now. They want the brain. And, Jesus, this is crazy. Like, they're so much more ridiculous than they were when I played, like, last week. I don't understand it. Watch this, they're gonna be like three and four on my tail right now. Unless I somehow lost them. Yeah, there they are, look at them. Look at them! It must be because the server actually had a low population, which I, I had never seen before. Which is good because the loot should be easier to get. But it's so ridiculous how these zombies are on you. And I'm not that good with the bow. So I just need to take this guy out right now. Come at me, bro. I got him. I need a headshot, though. Got him. Alright, so yeah, now it's getting nighttime, which sucks, but it was such a nice day out. And now there's this dude on me. Oh, I took damage from that? That's bull. Cool. Got him. Alright, sometimes they drop loot. I haven't gotten lucky yet. But yeah, I kind of want to get away from the crazy zombie area. And I also still need to collect some more berries. I managed to collect uh, some decent amount, a decent amount of sticks. But I was in the middle of collecting berries when some more of uh, Mr. Zombie's friends decided that they wanted some brains. So, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna eat a ton of berries right now. But I might as well gather them since I'm here, and this is where I've been gathering berries. And now, the next thing I need to do is find a city, which probably means a ton more zombies. But hopefully because there are less players on the server. So I might as well start with this little area here. And I actually started looting it with you guys, but not really. I haven't done anything since then. So basically, the first thing you really need is some scrap metal. So, you can find this by searching cars. Ooh, a weapon repair kit. That's nice. Okay, so yeah, you can tell just right off the bat that no one's been here, which is exactly what you want. I don't know how I jumped that fence so easily the first time. I've tried it a couple times since. I caught it on camera. It was pretty smooth. But ever since then, I, ha I haven't had much luck jumping those fences. So basically, in the houses, there's a chance that you could find guns, or uh, water in the refrigerator, I believe. I haven't gotten too lucky searching the actual like cabinets and counters. I think I believe that that's broken. They might have fixed it though in the patch. I'm not sure. And you just want to look around like for all of the stuff you can get. Again, I'm looking for mainly mechanical and industrial areas because I need to find some scrap metal. Oh shit! It's a wolf. Okay, I don't like wolves at all. They're extremely hard to hit. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. It died. Alright, so as you can see, I'm not doing good. Did it have, did it have friends? No, no friends. Okay. Jesus, I'm, I'm taking such a beating. I was doing totally fine last week. And then today, ah, all this stuff's just going at me. So I'm, I'm healing with another bandage. You, uh oh, there was another wolf. I don't want that one to see me. But ah, uh, there are wolves on the loose. Crazy vicious zombies. This has been a rough start, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I hope that wolf didn't see me. Okay, but these right here are the kind of areas I'm looking for. The big mechanical industrial areas. And I haven't had too much, uh. Oh, okay, it looks like they have fixed the loot, because I just found some canned food. Did I hear a dog? No. Okay, so canned food is much better at restoring your energy than 
just the berries. So as you can see, I'm at 53 energy, and now I'm at 93, so that was super useful. So the more of those you can get, the better, as well as just some water. And uh, so basically, I don't remember if I've said so already, I might have like 10 times, but the priority number one is scrap metal. Uh, fertilizer, not sure what to do with that. I, I have heard about a gardening system, I've never had a chance to explore it, but maybe that's something. And yeah, again, scrap metal is going to let you progress so much further in the game. And I have not yet currently found any. I know where to look for it, but I have yet to find it. But with scrap metal, you can make things like a basic shelter, another weapon repair kit. Uh, might as well. I might have to drop it if my satchel gets full. But with scrap metal, you can make basic shelter, a uh, storage container to keep your goods in, as well. Oh, here's some food and water. Uh, empty bottle, mandarin oranges, but yeah, I have, I have no space. So I'm going to keep the bottle on me. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Uh, 35, I'm going to drop this. No, I'm going to put the branch on me as a weapon, which should give me 100 space. And I'll go ahead and take the beans. And uh, those are the beans. Those are oranges, Colton. Beans are much different than oranges, silly. But <gasps> guys, we found some. Oh, this is so great. Scrap metal right here. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, thank God. I've just found some scrap metal, guys. That is fantastic. And uh, there's lots of good loot here. I've, I'm much more optimistic about this server than the server I had started playing on. A hammer? Awesome. I, I don't know if I can hold that yet. Uh, maybe not. Nope. Uh, just one thing off. Uh, I'm going to drop the... Let me put the tarp in Discovery. No. Okay, I'm going to put scrap metal in Discovery. See what... Okay, metal bracket. Okay, watch how quickly we're going to be able to fill up some things. So, Metal Shard is now a thing. Uh, some more recipes to find. So, let's try... Uh, I need a stick, and I believe we can get a hatchet. Let me see. Uh, how do you craft a nail, I wonder? Okay, I'm gonna do some research, because I definitely don't want to lose the scrap metal. So, I'm gonna think about the best way to proceed, and then I'm... First off, I'm gonna smoke this zombie here. Got him. Right, I'm going to notch another bow. Okay, I'm going to log out and do a little research, a little bit of research, and then I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back, and I figured out the first thing I want to do with my scrap metal. And that is to build myself a hatchet. And, uh, zombies, noodles. Oh my god, guys. Alright, um... Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, all right, one thing I forgot to mention is that this server has a bunch of different rules, including west words, including recipe wipe, uh, headshots only, and a couple things like that. So I thought it would make it more interesting. But what I'm going to make is a hatchet. So to do this, I need a wooden stick and some scrap metal. And I got myself a makeshift hatchet. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that. Alright, and the reason I'm doing this, one is it'll let me chop wood. So I've got the hatchet. Now, the reason I want this hatchet is because it's going to allow me to cut down some trees and allow me to more easily make a basic shelter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my very first super tiny little base. So I'm going to want to build this on the outskirts of a big city. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a nice long walk down this road. I'm going to collect lots of berries, and I'm going to wait till I find a big city. Now, the names of the cities I'm interested in, I believe one's like Pleasantville, Pleasant Valley, or something like that. That would be a good city to have a base near. Or also, there's one like uh, Cranberry, and I could consider building it outside of there. 
so those are, I believe, the two biggest cities in the game. There might be one more. But I also need to eat like hell because, again, um, my hydration is going down very rapidly and I only have 46 health. So I'm going to do a bit of exploring and wait and try to find the outskirts of a city. And I'm also going to eat a lot. Okay, guys. I have just hit the jackpot. The absolute jackpot. I found myself a crowbar. Now, uh, a crowbar is pretty much the coolest item that you could get in the game. At least for me. Now, why? Why is this such a cool item? You can get yourself so much scrap metal with a crowbar. The fact that I have found this and some scrap metal already is like crazy for me. Like, they definitely fixed the loot because I spent all weekend and I couldn't find a single piece of scrap metal. But I need to clear out some of my inventory and hopefully no zombies come around. That'd be pretty annoying. But, oh, I'm gonna drop this branch. I don't know why I picked that up. But I believe... Yeah, look at that. I'm getting this scrap metal from hitting this car. Aw, oh, this is great. I don't know if I have to move around or what, but aw, oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Uh, so I should be getting more and more scrap metal. Maybe. How much do I have right now? I've got five. And it's got 444 to a So... Is this taking durability from it? Yeah, I just lost a lot and didn't get any more scrap metal. I'm gonna try this car. Is it giving me more scrap metal? No. I'm checking my proximity items just to make sure. No? Okay. I'm gonna try this car. I don't... It should be giving me... I should be able to get 20 scrap metal from this thing is what I learned. Like. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what's working. I've still got five scrap metal, and my crowbar has taken a lot of damage. Oh, maybe I can use these weapon, re weapon, re the weapon repair kits. Does it work like that? Can I use it? Uh, repair, uh, crowbar. Oh, I can. I'm gonna repair my crowbar again. Okay, now let me see if I can use it. Okay, so I'm at two. Oh yeah, there's some scrap metal. There we go. Um, I don't know if you have to do different things or more things, or if I could just be using the same car or what, but there we go, some more scrap metal. We're up to seven. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Have we used durability already? No, I've got uh, 1,200 durability. Okay, I've got myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 200, uh, 44 durability, and 21 scrap metal. Alright, I know exactly what I want to make now. I'm just not positive how to make it. Alright. I'm gonna do a little bit more research, but uh, the fact that we've found this much scrap metal in such a little area is awesome, guys. I'm so happy right now. Alright, guys. I have just discovered nail. Now, nails are super nice. They're pretty much used in everything. And it's about time to wrap up this episode, so I thought I'd end it with one thing that's really cool. So I'm about to make my inventory space go a lot longer. So with the four nails, which I surprisingly only needed one piece of scrap metal for, I can go ahead and get some sticks. So I'm going to collect, uh, like, four wood sticks. Oh, I don't even have space for them. I need four wood sticks, and... Alright, I'm going to drop... Uh, what, what do I have to drop? Okay, uh, what's taking up a lot of space? I'm going to have to drop this empty bottle for just a second, so I can pick up, uh, these sticks. I'm going to collect one, two, three... Four sticks. Okay, guys, so now here's what you gotta do. And I know I'm, uh, not doing good on hydration. I'm gonna eat some berries really soon. But if I put the four sticks 
and the fully scrap metal, I can discover. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but that's good as well. Uh, where did my nails go? Oh, I didn't actually craft any nails. Okay, so I'm going to put the full uh, metal shard. I need to go to nail right here. So I don't actually have any nails in my inventory. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and craft four nails. Okay, now I can put the nails and the sticks and go ahead and discover. And I have a backpack frame. So what this is, this is really cool. But I know already I'm not going to have the inventory space for it. So for right now, I'm going to drop the fertilizer. Now, I'm going to craft this backpack frame. And I need my satchel. Yeah, okay. Am I going to have to drop everything out of my satchel? Hold on. Let me see. Um, hold on. I have the backpack frame. So if I put this in Discovery... Oh no. Oh no, guys. A wolf got me. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to craft myself a backpack, and no way this wolf is going to stop me. I got him. I have 21 health. If I die right now, I'm going to cry. I am literally going to stop. I'm going to stop playing. Okay, I got the wolf. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. I have 20 health. I'm just solely going to focus on regaining health here. After, okay. So I've got myself a backpack frame. And now I believe, alright, I need to craft another satchel or just, alright. I just need to drop everything. Okay, I'm going to throw everything on the ground here. I've just got to do it. All the scrap metal, it's all going to be here for me. I just need to throw everything on the ground. I need to empty out my satchel. And then I need to put my satchel in my belt. Oh, uh, this is going to take forever. I wish there was a drop everything button. But I just need to make myself this backpack. And I'm just throwing everything on the ground. If someone else were to walk by right now and take all of my stuff, they totally could. But I really hope they don't, because that would suck. Okay, this sucks. I'm just trying to make myself a backpack. But I need the satchel and a crafting recipe. So I'm just going to be throwing everything on the ground. Maybe this is the completely wrong approach, but I'm not sure. Okay, so everything is on the ground right now. Oh no, I threw the backpack frame. That wasn't too smart. But okay, so now everything is going off and onto the ground. And then what I'm going to do is put the satchel and the backpack frame in the discovery tab which should uh, do some good why can't I uh, drop okay yeah I'm just trying to drop everything okay and now I'm probably gonna have to drop everything from my belt as well my, my belt what, what am I saying how big is the satchel it's bulk 100 okay so I'm just gonna have to throw literally Wait, I'm not doing this right. Alright, I need my my backpack frame. Okay, I can't fit it. I'm just going to take everything off. Okay, I don't know if this is what I'm trying... I hope you guys see what I'm trying to do. And I'm probably not doing a great job at it. Oh, 20, 20 blackberries. Okay, this might take a while. I'm going to do a cut... And I will be back when I have all of these. I'm just going to eat. Oh, I need to eat anyway. Holy crap, I need to eat. Okay, I'm just going to eat all, the, all of the blackberries. And I will be back once I finish my hearty snack. Holy crap. Oh my god. A zombie. Do I have arrows? I have three arrows. Holy crap. Okay, okay guys, I'm gonna use the gauze. I'm gonna continue to pick up all of my proximity items. 
This was such a bad idea. This was such a bad idea. I can't even believe it. Okay. I am out of gauze. I just need to get my shit together right now. So here's what I'm doing. I'm bailing. I am going to sprint to the woods, eat the berries, and I am going to call it an episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching episode one. I really just need to, like, get my health back up, my hydration, obviously, and I just need to get out of the way from everything. This should be good. Okay, so I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you for watching. It's been a really, really good episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.